Okay, so here's the deal. So the EPA actually requires that all fuels sold in this great US of A contain additives to help prevent buildup. And I know what you're thinking, Canada. You talking to me? And I'm willing to bet you guys got similar laws. So the real question is, why are we wasting our money on more fuel additives? We're just adding additives on top of additives and throwing it in with some fuel and hoping it all works out. In this video, we're gonna talk about if we're wasting our money or if that actually is a good benefit that pays off in the long run. Coming up. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Say, if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Chris with MidwestATVTrails.com where we provide trail reviews as well as maintenance and gear related information and tips. So think about hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on future videos. Okay, so here's the thing. I, I decided to do this video uh, for our maintenance series and I've got previous experience with you know using this. I mean, I've been riding for years but I went online because I really wanted to find some of the nitty gritty details and really get to the bottom of if uh, fuel additives were a waste of money or not. And I didn't find the answer I was looking for. Now before we get too much further, uh, I'm sure most of you know what fuel additives are, but if you don't, if you've never used them, basically there's something you're gonna add to your fuel to help clean parts of your engine as well as to keep gas from separating. So uh, some will claim to clean your fuel injectors, your carb if you have one, intake valves and other items just in in your engine and then there's ones that will help uh, keep your gas from separating and corroding over time now some will even claim to restore lost engine performance and lower emissions better yet some will even claim better mileage which i know is a huge concern in the atv world because if there's one thing i worry about when i'm looking at a new atv is what kind of mileage it gets So with that said, we're really only gonna focus on fuel stabilizers and just overall fuel system cleaners. You can get a little bit more down in the grid on that. Uh, if you want to, great. There's a lot of good information on the internet. Spend some time reading up, but we're not gonna worry about all that too much here. So first, let's talk about fuel stabilizers. So really, fuel stabilizers are meant to help maintain fuel efficiency, prevent hard starts uh, due to gas separation, as well as prevent corrosion in the engine. Now, fuel system cleaners, claim to contain powerful cleaning agents that protect slash clean fuel injectors and other parts of your engine from gumming up, uh, which can happen from the properties contained in ethanol. Uh, on a side note, clogged fuel injectors plus cold weather don't mix. So if you're like me in from the north or anywhere cold, Canada. Who the f do you think you're talking to? Uh, clogged fuel injectors are not a good thing. On a, another side note, from that, not all of these fuel injector cleaners are created equal. So kind of a, a rule of thumb I've come to kind of understand over time is if it's if it has outrageous claims, that's a big giveaway that it's probably not realistic at all. Okay, so moving on. There's a lot of arguments that are for and against it, both by scientists and very experienced mechanics. All right, so fuel stabilizers. So fuel stabilizers work by adding alcohol, which mix with the water and helps solubilize solubilize with the gas. We'll get there eventually. Uh, so what happens is that gets burned with everything else and just shoots out your exhaust. Just gets burnt out. Uh, fuel stabilizers can also help prevent water from freezing in fuel lines. So again, cold states, cold country, Canada, uh, fuel stabilizers can definitely help. Okay, so I know what you're thinking, get to the point. Should I be using these or not? Because you just said it you know, people go both ways is ha. <laughs> he said they go both ways. So after doing all that research, previous experience, I thought I had it all figured out. I did all that research. I was like, yeah, I'll just get all the nitty gritty details so I know for sure what I'm saying. It was a 50-50 split. I mean, it really was. I, I tend to find a little more information leaning for it. In fact, I honestly, it was about 50-50 down the middle. However, some of the information leaning for it uh, came from some really good scientists and other individuals uh, that really, you know, they were really able to sell on why they worked. So in fact, there's one video, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Uh, if you really wanna get into some of the science and the details, he did a phenomenal job. It was by an engineer, he did a phenomenal job talking about fuel system cleaners. So uh, definitely consider checking that out. Anyway, like I said, on a personal note, after doing all that research and reading tons of articles and videos and everything else, I believe that they can actually be helpful. However, there's no reason to be using them all the time and which one you use truly does matter. That seemed to be repetitive in a lot of the articles I read is there's so many varieties out there, a lot of them don't do anything at all. So you really gotta spend some time 
find one that works well, do the research. Uh, like I said, we'll do a video on that down the road to, to kind of help narrow it down to a few good options for you. And as far as fuel stabilizers go, way more of the research was formed than against them. I wasn't too surprised by that. Uh, I've gone without using stabilize, fuel stabilizers and I've used them and I've always seemed to have had better, better results in the long run using them, especially on older machines. So I definitely consider using those. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. If it was, think about smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, otherwise, think about hitting that subscribe button so you can stay updated on future videos. I'm sorry if I couldn't give you like a positive guaranteed, you definitely need to use them uh, type of answer, but I still hope this was helpful. Like I said, it was just so split on both sides of the table. I couldn't believe how many scientists and experienced mechanics I found on both sides. So, uh, like I said, I hope it was helpful. Otherwise, consider doing some further research if, if you're looking for a little bit more information. But I hope this at least helped you out a little bit. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.